answers. Steve Bryan. Thank you. Uh, if I'm honest, I think many people will think this is the, the right move at the wrong time. We keep being told to use our common sense. The idea that this was wrong when Europe was at the centre of a pandemic and right now, it, it doesn't add up to me, but maybe that's just me. But we are where we are and we, we can't go back, so we start from here. Now, hundreds of my constituents rely on Southampton Airport for their livelihoods. It was on its knees before covid so while I appreciate there's much talk today of travel corridors, can I ask my right honourable friend whether the government considered travel gates to block incoming travellers from certain countries based on the science, basically a more targeted risk-based approach to the screening of passengers, as happens with aviation security standards now? So my honourable friend is absolutely right. There are a ra there'll be a range of measures, and I think I should just emphasise to the House and all honourable and right honourable members. Of course, this is part of our ongoing dialogue with the industry. This isn't just for government to specify the type of actions that the sector should undertake. Um, we have to innovate together and also look at new international aviation health screening options, opportunities, but the way in which we can work to innovate and set new standards internationally. We want to be at the forefront of that. And that is something that we want to urge our industry to, to do as well. Yvette.